Hello and welcome to my guide on making gold in World of Warcraft. More specifically, making enough gold to pay for WoW tokens so that you don't have to pay Blizzard a monthly subscription. Now, the too long didn't read version of this is learn enchanting, sell enchants, sell the legion enchants, make enough money. That's a simple one. The long version is to go into a bit more detail about what add-ons I use, um, specifically what enchants I do, and then things you can do to learn about the market. Right, let's get started. So, the first thing I recommend is you get the add-on Trade Skill Master. Go it here on the website. I'll do all the links in the um, in the video in the description at the bottom. So, the first thing you need is to get the basic core add-on, and then I'd recommend you get all the extra add-ons, the accounting, the app helper, the auction database, auctioning, crafting, destroying and mailing and shopping, vendoring, and then these two slightly less so, but you might as well get them all. So that's the first thing I'd recommend you get. There's also a desktop app, which you'd need to, you need to sign up for this and you get the desktop application. It's all completely free unless you want to donate and support their, their brilliant work on this. The next thing is the desktop add-on, which will keep your database up to date. And then the two, the add-on and the desktop app will talk to each other and keep everything up to date. So download that, get everything on, and that's the main add-on you'll need. The only other one I use is bulk buy, um, which allows me to buy stacks of things like enchanting vellum and uh, cat gut. Um, in greater quantities, like I can buy 600 of them. So that's really useful as well. And the others, the usual gatherer, heal bot, that's just my own class stuff. But these are the main ones you want, Trade Skill Master. Make sure you get all of those. So what do you need before you start? Well, ideally you'd be level 110 or close to it. Um, you can go through and do all the Legion profession quests for enchanting and tailoring. Focus on the enchanting ones, because those are what I'm using. Um, but there are a few tailoring ones that I do use, so I'd recommend going through those quests as well. To make sure they're all done, you've got TSM installed, and basically try and get as many rank 3s of the enchanting recipes that you can. I'll bring up enchanting here. This is the TSM version of it. I can switch to the original version, which is here. And so you can see here, I've got the main legion enchants, uh, bindings of critical strike, haste and mastery, rank 3, and versatility. So we'll be selling those. Don't worry about the word ofs, you don't need those. Cloak enchants, I've got these three binding ofs here. I haven't got the third binding of strength, but I'm still making a profit. And then the neck enchants, I've got mark of the ancient priestess, claw, distant army, heavy hide, Hidden Satire and Trained Soldier. Ideally, again, you'd have rank 3 in all of these. As you can see, I haven't got them all, but I'm still making a profit. The other thing you'll need to supplement your enchanting is tailoring. And what you really want to look out for is this recipe here, Silkweave Braces. You want that rank 3 because that is the quickest way of turning Silk into arcana and ley light shard that's a world quest that pops up you have to look out for when it's on so get the rank two and then just keep on looking keep on looking and eventually you'll get the world quest for rank three and then you can get that because that's that's really useful okay so you've got your recipes you've got your your leveled up your enchanting Everything's ready. You've got TSM installed. There's a few things that I'd recommend going through and checking on your TSM. There are other very good tutorials about um, how to set up TSM. I'm just going to go through a few things that I do that I find useful. Under Trade Skill Master, I've already got all my groups set up for tailoring and enchanting and a few other little bits that I've picked up along the way. You can, you can evolve this as you go, but the first thing I'm going to just focus on is enchanting. You can see here I've split it already into subgroups of Frequent Sellers, Neck Enchants and Tomes and Tailoring I've split into bags and pretty clothes but to be honest I'm not selling much with Tailoring. The main thing I'm just going to focus on here for this video is Enchanting. There's a few things you want to go and set up though. Under Options, I think it's in Counting, 
is this ITIC, use smart average of purchase price. What that does is it takes the average of the items you bought of that particular item rather than the whole average over the length of time that it's been scanning the data. So you get a much more accurate picture as to what the realistic price is of your current materials that you've got in your bags and your bank. So I'd recommend you tick that. The other thing I'll go through is my groups. You can ignore pretty much most of these. I've set them up on the on the fly. The main thing is the enchanting group, which I've then further split. These get set up automatically when you open the window for the first time. I've further gone in there and set up one for all my cloaks and rings, one for all my necks, and one for all my tomes. And for each of these, I've set up an operation. It's the same operation for both of these. And the things to look out for here in the operation, I view operation options under post. So there's a few things I've set in here. One is I've set the auction price to 12 hours because I do quite a lot of uh, cancel scans. So it's cheaper to put them on for 12 hours than it is for 24 or 48. So it depends on how frequently you're going to be doing cancel scans. Ideally, I'd recommend doing it at least three times a day, say like first thing in the morning, lunchtime and in the evening, um, which is why I've set this at the minimum, which is 12 hours. If you don't think you're going to be going that long, then take it up to 24. It's up to you. Play with it and see how it goes. I've limited myself to just having four of any one enchant on, so I've put the post cap to four. And then the undercut amount I've set as default, which is one copper, that's quite important because you don't want to keep dropping the price by a huge amount. You want to drop the price just by a small amount just to undercut everyone else. Now this is the important bit. I've set my minimum price to be 100% crafting plus 400 gold. So basically that means that TSM won't post or undercut any items that are going to be either a minimal profit, i.e. under 400 gold, or they're going to be less than the crafting cost. So that for me is the threshold. I don't want to be selling things at a loss. So that's the important thing. And I've got that set to don't post items. The other two are less important because this rarely happens. There's rarely no enchants on and there's rarely them on for a ridiculously high price. So for the sake of completeness, I set my maximum price to be 300% of the DB market value, so that's the database um, average market value, and my normal price, and so as if there were no enchants on, we'd reset the price at 150% of the basic. So that's the main operation for selling enchants, and then you'd have your group set up here. The other thing I'd recommend is going into your, I believe it's options, macros, no, ESM features, Macro setup. Here we go. Um, I would suggest you create a macro and bind the scroll mouse wheel to. I use the default, which is to hold control down and you wheel the mouse up and down, and that will do things like automatically post and automatically cancel scans. Makes the whole uh, resetting your auctions really, really quick. I recommend you bind that as a macro. So the next thing is to actually start making some enchants. Now, the ones I concentrate on are the, the top ones, the top legion ones, the ring enchants, binding of critical strike, haste, mastery and versatility. I find the mastery one sells the most out of these. The rings overall are the fastest selling I find on the server because obviously people have got two slots for those so there's more, more throughput of auctions. The next thing is the cloaks. You want the three binding of agility, binding of intellect and binding of strength. And then the next, there's a, quite a few of these, everything from Ancient Priestess down to Trained Soldier. And those are the main ones to focus on. Um, ideally, I will have two necks and two cloaks on at any one time and four rings of each one at any one time, so long as they're all making a profit. Um, if you're just starting out, you might want to just put one of each on, see what sells, see how many you craft, see how many... Um, chaos crystals and ley lights you've got so you might not have enough stock to make them all at once but I would start with those to begin with the other thing you can do is one each of the tomes I haven't got the other Pandaria ones that get unlocked with ret farming um, I've just got the basic ones 
usually I have one of each on and they do sell not very frequently and not always for a good profit but it's another thing you can have just ticking over in the background and can make you a bit more profit okay so once you've made your enchants the next thing is to set up a little routine going this doesn't have to take long and what you what you'll do is you'll log on check your mailbox collect the anything that's expired collect anything that's sold go into the auction house quickly check shopping for some of your ingredients do a cancel scan on your auctions and then cancel any that have been undercut collect them from the mailbox put them back on and then go through the auctions that you've sold fill in any gaps make those and then repost those back on and you're done that's all you need to do maybe three times a day it take about five to ten minutes to do that but that's all you need to do if you get in the routine of doing it then I guarantee you'll make enough gold so let's run through that a typical auction for me I've got one sale so that's not a lot at the moment but then I've been doing this a little bit already today I'll open my mail collect those up back into the auction house I'm in the Dwarven district here so I'll look onto my shopping first and have a quick look at Chaos Crystal prices for me my price is anything under 220 you'll get a feel for the values on your own server but I know that that makes me a profit we're doing a quick cancel scan now not a cancel scan, a shop scan and you can see here that everything's quite highly priced there's no bargains to be had there and so the next thing I look for is shell dry silk which is for the tailoring and the braces to turn into ley light and arcana and normally I would buy anything underneath five gold uh, at the moment we don't have any there so I won't be buying any of those then I check my auctions and deselect these and just show you the frequent sellers the tomes and the enchants these are the ones I'm currently focusing on I run a cancel scan of those I'll go through all my auctions see if anyone's undercut me and I've been undercut on my agility heavy hide versatility so this is why I haven't had many sales since I last logged on because people will always buy the cheapest person so I've got 34 I need to cancel so using the macro we set up a quick hold down control wheel the mouse and our PSM will go through and cancel all of those auctions that's done back we go to the mailbox open all of those that's done back to the auction house post scan and that will go through scan the market and so long as nothing's not a profit then there we go you can see a couple there cheapest auction below min price and the Tome of Illusions Northrend those um, because of my post scan of not being more than crafting cost plus 400 gold those aren't going to get posted because cur the current price is not high enough if I click on Ancient Priestess you can see here that there's quite a few that are underneath a decent price if I hover over the icon you can see my crafting cost there is 3200 so these are all being sold at less than my crafting cost obviously these people may have um, got their ingredients for a for a, a cheaper price which is why they're putting them on at this price but they'll they're going to be a loss um, so I'm going to leave those that I could buy them out but I'm not going to for now and I'll show you a quick post scan everything else is going to get posted so control wheel the mouse And then I'm done posting. The next thing I would do would check all my auctions that I've got on at the moment. I'd change the sort order to rarity because that's where I can see all of my enchants here. I bring up the TSM version of enchanting. Then I can have the auction house on the same. I can move the windows side by side. Now I've changed this to rarity. So for me, I've got two of each on. So I just check for any gaps that I've got here. So I've got two agilities, got plenty of intellects, more than the two, and I've got one strength. So I need to make another strength 
So I just go here, check my list, check strength, and you can see here, if I move this across, you can see here that the current profit based on current prices, even at rank two, is a profit of 2,400. I definitely want to make sure that I've got that in stock. So I'll queue that up to be crafted. Next, I'll go through my list of necks. So I match this up here. Now, Ancient Priestess, we can see here, it's not turning a profit, so we're going to ignore that one. Check for uh, Mark of the Claws. I've got plenty of those on. Next is Distant Army. Got plenty of those on. Heavy Hide. Got those on. Hidden Satire. I've got two of those on. That's fine. And I've got two trained soldiers on. All of these of which would make me a profit. You can see it's all in green here. So onto the rings, which are usually the faster sellers. And so I've got three critical strikes on. So I'll make another one of those. Look, just just in profit, 500 gold. That's okay. And haste is fine. Mastery is fine. I've got four of those. Versatility is fine. Now that I've checked what I've got on the auction house versus what I've got gaps in the market, I've got two 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 craft. I've got enough ingredients to do that straight away. So I'll just click craft next and craft next. So that's done. Back in, do a post scan. So these two will get posted on. Maximum amount already posted. That means I've got some in my bank, but um, but I've already got four of them, so I'm not going to post any more. Quick post scan of that. And that, in a nutshell, is all you need to do. Do that sort of two, three times a day, and you'll always be the cheapest, at least some of the time of the day, and you'll make gold. There's a few other things you can do. You'll learn over time the, the feel for the market of the prices. Highly recommend you do your own calculations as to what makes a profit. I use a spreadsheet just to keep all the details myself. Um, don't rely always on TSM to work it out for you. You can use it as a guide, but just back it up yourself and work out the calculations yourself. And then you'll get a feel for all the different um, prices of all your, your Chaos Crystals, your Arcana and your Laylight Shard because those will be the things you'll be buying if you haven't got tailoring. If you've got tailoring, then you'll be looking at the price of Shalder Eye Silk, and that will then generate your Laylight Shards and your Arcana. So, for instance, I know that if I buy Shalder Eye Silk for 5 gold, then that effectively, using the rank 3 braces, means that I can do Laylight Shards for 45 gold and Arcana for 15 gold. So I've manually set my prices in TSM to be, if I go into crafting materials, I've manually set my prices for Arcana to 15 gold and Laylight Shards to 45 gold. There it is. So all this silk that you can see here, I've amassed loads of it, I've bought for under five gold. You can see there on the smart average, which is in the purchased min average max price column, you can see that's three gold 89. So I've actually bought it for a lot less than that. So there's a little bit of leeway, but I'm kind of overestimating a little bit. So my profits are actually higher than I think. Then the other price to look for is chaos crystals, which for me, I try and get anything for under 220. So if I do a quick shopping scan of chaos crystals, at the moment, the market has gone quite high because someone like me has come along and bought all the cheap ones. So everything is all at either 102% of the market value or higher. If you're not sure of prices, have a look at another website, the Undermine Journal. And here it's um, split for my server, Shadow Song. And then you can go here and look for Enchanting. And then you can go down and scroll for... Chaos Crystals, and then this will give you a really good snapshot of what the prices are like, how they fluctuated. You can see here, they were quite low, um, about 240, and then there's been a bit of a spike recently, and they haven't settled down or dropped again yet, which is why I'm not buying any at the moment. I've actually got a stock of them in my bags. I've got just over 450 there, so that will keep me going for a moment but I'll wait until they drop back down again because there's always a downward trend. 
Except for Chaos Crystals. Have a look on one of the graphs. Chaos Crystals bumped up here um, when the last raid came out, but there's usually a downward trend. You can see it here, a downward trend in the prices of things over the course of time. So, and this is quite useful as a scatter plot to see that Shadow Song here, it's on this side because it's low population and it's on the high side because it's quite relatively high compared to everyone else. And then you can see all the people who are selling it at the moment, which is basically 290. And how this doesn't refresh very frequently. I think it's every half hour, so don't rely on this, but it's another good thing to check. Whilst we're looking at websites, the other one I'd recommend is the Reddit Wow Economy. Um, make yourself familiar with this. There's loads and loads of really good people, way better than me, that have loads and loads of different tips, but this will just get you started. This is a good way just to get you off the starting blocks with um, enough gold for the WoW token. I mean, I've only been doing this for 69 days since I started this. And you can see here my player gold over the past 69 days, ignore the 365 because I actually only started it on the 20th of the 7th. Um, you can see here I tried a few things, didn't work out. I was just trying transmog farming. I found that A, boring, and B, um, didn't sell very quickly because I'm on a very low pop server. So once I got enchants going, you can see here that literally I've been making more and more gold over the time. And if you look at this dip here, this dip here, and this dip here, that's me buying three WoW tokens at 250,000 gold each time. Now I've made, um, accounting says I've made 1.3 million gold in this time period. So to me, that's plenty. Um, I bought three months of game time in this six, last 69 days. Um, before that three months is up, I plan on buying another six months game time. And that's it. I'm done. I really recommend you get enchanting and then get tailoring to make enchanting even more profitable. With the tailoring, all you need to do is the, the one recipe, silkweed braces. Every now and again, make sure you've got some runic cat cut as well. Pick that up from Dalaran and whatever silk you've got. I happen to have a big stock of 12,000 at the moment and literally just go through, click create all, fill your bags up. And you can see here, TSM destroying is automatically popped up and this will run through the disenchants once you've made everything. So I'll let this spin through. There we go, build our bags up, and then simply all we have to do now is go through, click this, destroy next each time. And this is where you'll get your Daylight Shards, your occasional Blood of Sargeras, and occasional Chaos Crystals from the, any of the purples that you've got. But the main thing you'll be doing here is getting up a good stock of Daylight Shards and occasionally Blood of Sargeras, which we use one thing I forgot to mention actually is the price of Blood of Sargeras is I've got it at one gold because for me I've got no other use of Blood of Sargeras other than using it in my cloak enchants. Um, other people might put a higher margin on that if you can use it for something else and you incorporate that into your profits but without putting it in TSM doesn't know what it's worth to you and so it won't show you the profits on your cloaks. There you can see we've got the Chaos Crystal. Let's run through this now quickly. And we've got a Blood of Sargeras. This is why I'm in the Dwarven District. Because the auctioneers get killed a lot less frequently in the Dwarven District. And that's it. That's the kind of routine I'd go through if I've got a bit more time, is to make a few more of the uh, Leylite Shards and gain some Blood of Sargeras and some Chaos Crystals on the side. I hope you found this useful. Um, if there's any questions, feel free to add them in the comments. I'll answer them as best as I can. 
like I said, I've only been doing this for 69 days. This is in Legion 7.3. So it's the latest um, technique. It works for me. I'm on a low pop server. It might not work for you exactly the same if you're on a high pop server. But try it, work it out and see how much money you're making. I'd love to find out. And um, until the next guide, happy enchanting.